What's going on team? Proof here. And sorry again for having such a big gap in between uploads. I know I always say that every time I take a, a gap and then have more videos come out. <laughs> but my work schedule has been fairly hectic recently. So I didn't have as much time as I hoped I would to be able to record. But I'm back with another video. And before I hop into it, I want to say thank you to everybody because I recently ended up hitting 1100 subscribers and it really means a lot to me that people a they seek me out for content even though I kind of upload fairly infrequently and B they share my videos around the people that might be looking for help um, a lot of the reasons I do this is to help people uh, see the potential of spikes or if they're interested in spikes to be able to have a direction a, a guide to help them go in a certain direction that they want to go or just help learn the cars and all that good jazz so it really means a lot to me that people seek seek me out for advice or they share my videos out as advice to other people so i hope i continue to put out the content that help facilitates that to help continue to see that grow because i really enjoy that part of seeing people get better at the game and also one of the lead you guys to my boy skills uh, store again because he's been really great at giving people really good deals and offering discounts to people so i'm gonna keep i want to keep giving him shout outs to be able to help continue to see his store grow and if you've used his the link down below i really appreciate you guys giving him a look and using his services to help get you guys the cars that you need and with that being said the video today has kind of taken a couple forms before it's come to where i wanted to talk about it today at first, I wanted to talk about cars that have kind of changed my perception of them over time or as um, set 13 has come out up to present day. But then the more I thought about it, kind of just wanted to talk about my new homie, uh, Mech Constructor, the stand trigger that we got in set 13, which is a car that I reviewed as being fairly good with potential, but it being a stand trigger with Spike Brothers wouldn't lend itself to being really good overall and recently when i've been using my dust list more i've been incorporating it and it's really changed the way that i've looked at it especially in the context of what i'm going to show you guys today and as i've looked at it and analyzed it it kind of blew my mind open with possibilities of what it's able to do so what i'm gonna do is that well for the people that weren't around for the earlier days of my channel what i would tend to do is i would show people a combo and then i would present a chart of the combo showing like power um cars needed to guard it in certain scenarios and stuff to show you guys the potential of a combo to be able to function and how it's able to help close out a game or help meet a goal that you're trying to set and i kind of got away from that over time because guard the guard structure kind of changed with when g guardians came out like the math kind of changed on that but in the context of dust it kind of helps simplify things down again because it limits it doesn't it prevents your opponent from using g guards because of him put forcing your opponent to be a grade one vanguard and it kind of changes the math on guarding that way but in a more bite size friendly fashion so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys Mecha Instructor combos in comparison with the Blackguard combos because when I first started looking at Dust, I thought the power and the potential light in being able to tag um, Great Star and Blackguard back and forth. But recently, the whole my whole worldview on that shifted as I saw what Instructor can do, and I wanted to share share that information with everybody. So what I have is I have a four counter blast combo, a three counter blast combo, and a two counter blast combo. And then I'm just gonna talk about different applications that um, Instructor offers us as well. So first, we're gonna show you, I'm gonna show you guys the four counter blast combo chart of comparing Blackguard with um, Mecha Instructor. So on the left side here, we have the column featuring just Mecha Instructor. And on the right side, we have the column featuring just Blackguard. And I have little blurbs here. The little, the long strip bars, kind of just like action blurbs that happen in between the sequence, just to help you 
follow along with the chart here. And then I have counter blast levels and showing a decrease and as an ability or a skill decreases your counter blast for you. So if you need a moment, I would definitely advise you to pause the video here, just give yourself a better look at the chart itself to help see if you can help follow along and see if you can follow my, my mad science that I helped generate this uh, chart with. <laughs> but as you can see on the left side, which is Mecha Instructor, with just a general sequence or setup, which is you have a general back row of Frog Raider, which is what you ideally want to have with the dust combo, a tier for your refunds, and then uh, I just threw in Acrobat as a 7K booster. Ideally, you want to have Frog Raider back there because your combo is most maximized with double Frog Raider, but that won't always happen, so I just kind of just wanted to show you guys for comparison's sake, just having a general booster back there. And with just a general setup like this here, which you see across the top above the right side, you can help, you can generate eight attacks with a black guard sequence where you call out, where you attack with Vanguard and you use Rising Nova stride skill. Because with Dust, it is most beneficial for you to, be, to have Rising Nova as your Vanguard. And from there, you use Counter Blast 1, put a card from your hand into the soul with their stride skill, and then you call out Great Star. And then you use Gray Star skill, which is Counter Blast 1, put a card from your hand into the soul, call out a Gray Tourless Charge unit. And that's where you call out Mecha Instructor from, which is where the second Counter Blast goes into play. And then the key to this combo with Instructor here is that you never want to charge Great Star until you want him on your last attack to go away, which is likely never. <laughs> because charge is a mandatory state for you may put a unit into charge, and if you choose to declare something that's charged after it engages in battle, which is attacking or boosting, it goes back to the bottom of the deck mandatorily. But the key to the combo is that you want to use Mecha Instructor's ability when it returns back to the deck to bind your Great Star and call it back out. And you can't do that if you put Great Star into charge and it goes away after it attacks. So you call out Great Star non-charging, but his ability still activates regardless of charge or not. The charge is only tied to, or the charge is only, ch bleh. He only gets power if he's charging, but you don't need to charge him to use his skill, if that makes sense. Hope I explained that well. <laughs> so you call out those two, you attack with star uh, for 16,000 or 23,000 because he gets a boost from being caught out through Rising Nova. And then you attack with Mech Instructor and then Mecha Instructor returns back to the deck, you put a card from your hand into the soul, you bind one of your rear guards, and you call it back out to an open circle, which is gonna be Great Star in this case. And then Great Star skill activates again from being placed onto rear guard, where you counter blast one and do the whole thing again to call out Instructor once more. And then you chain those two back and forth as counter blast and your hand permits. And then at the end of that chain, when you're out of counter blast, you attack with Great Star, you attack with Instructor, Instructor returns, and then ideally you have a card left in your hand to put into the soul with Mech Instructor, bind Great Star, and call it back out for one more attack, and hopefully your opponent uh, is dead by that point. So you get eight attacks that way. On the right side here, we have just a Great Star, or a Black Guard sequence, and as you can see, you only end up with five attacks because Black Guard uses a Counter Blast resource for you. So even though the attacks are much stronger in a quantity level or a quali qualitative level, you lose out on three attacks over time because of having to use the resources for Counter Blast. And you losing out on three attacks could mean the difference between being able to go over the top on your opponent and get to the end zone, or you come up one or two attacks short of being able to cross the line. So kind of seeing that in action, just kind of was like, whoa. Like I had, I didn't, it just, it just dawned on me that it could happen and then I kind of worked through it and I was like, I started just going to town on trying to figure out charts for this thing. But I wanted to see how it would work as you trickle down on your available counter blast. Cause this is like, you won't always have four counter blasts to use with dust as you refund and stuff. So I wanted to see how it would backtrack. So here we have a three counter blast chart. And as you can see with your 
instructor sequence, you end up getting, you can get six attacks with the same setup, just one less counter blast versus getting four attacks with your black guard sequence. And you get two more attacks and you can force out upwards of three extra cards from your opponent in a ideal scenario type of sense. So that right there also shows that instructor is more of a, a boon to have for us as well. And then for two counter blasts, you can see if you have like no, no ability to refund, but you have four counter blasts or something like that, or you only have two face up craze and, or all that good jazz, you can still generate four attacks with your instructor sequence versus three attacks with your dust or with your black guard sequence. So just through those alone, I was like, holy crap, instructor is really good in this sense, but that's not where it ends with Instructor either, because if you guys recall back to my um, sample dust list, I referenced Bracky as a unit that you could potentially utilize with the deck. And as I've been testing the deck, Bracky is phased out because I need to make space for other cards. But having Mech Instructor in your deck allows you to set up a Black Guard or a Black or a laser or laser black guard or a great star because black guard isn't leaving the deck because it still helps you get into your combo sequences and it also turns your black or your great star which is a crux of your combo sequence into brackies for you because you can you place them onto onto the board before you attack with your vanguard you attack with them and then you attack with dust and then use your stride skill to call out mecha instructor and then mecha instructor can attack return back to the deck because he's charging, bind your, your black guard or your great star, call it back out, and then it can attack again. And in the case of black guard, it returns back to the deck. You kind of blast one, call out great star, great star calls out instructor, and now you have your sequence all over again. Or in the case of great star, great star comes back down from the initial instructor, kind of blast one, call out another instructor, and then you have your sequence going that way. And that's not including the fact that you have triple drive as well. So if you attack with your black guard or your great star and then dust attacks, and then you do all the stuff and things with calling out instructor, and then on your triple drive, you check another instructor stand trigger, you stand up that, that rest in star or black guard, and now gets another attack in before you go with your instructor side. So it just keeps building on itself and it just kind of, adds a lot of cohesion to what the deck can do. And putting all that together kind of showed me how impressive it is to be able to have instructor in your deck. And it's not surprising that when you take a card that's already good in Blackguard and introduce a card that does something similar but takes away the counter blast cost for, it's gonna still be a pretty good card, or in this case, an amazing card for us to utilize. So. It's kind of cool. I know it kind of, kind of um, shooed away at Mech Instructor a little bit initially, but looking at it again now, kind of, it just changes everything up and what we can potentially do with our decks going into the future. Just being able to have such a combo piece available to us because it's not limited just to dust either. You can, if you harken back to my um, two damage counter blast combos with Picaro. You can do similar stuff with Blackguard as I showed in the video. Do the same things with Instructor and be able to, to tag a, a great star back and forth there as well. And you might be able to generate more attacks too because you're doing it with a free skill um, as a bridge there. And it has utilization with Hellheart 8 as well because as I had in the, in the game recently, I, I called out a Mayhem Tiger as a rear guard slot because it was just in my hand and I don't have High Maker anymore. And then I attacked with that Mayhem Tiger and I was able to buff up my Frog Raider. And then in the middle of the sequence, I was able to call out Mecha Instructor, attack with Instructor, give another boost to Frog. And then as he returns back to the deck, I can I bound the Mayhem Tiger and I called the Mayhem Tiger back out over Frog that had multiple 10K boosts with it as well. So then I had like a 66, 71,000 Mayhem Tiger just from all the power stacking from there. So it has a lot of utilization as well. 
And I know, I know, we really want to get away from using stand triggers because our keyword doesn't gel very well with stand triggers. But Mecha Instructor has proven to be such a, such a good card that it's kind of forcing his way in. <laughs> <laughs> kind of made a home for himself inside our deck and Bushy Road's third attempt at an axe diver finally paid off <laughs> they tried they tried really hard or a second a second crack at a mecha analyzer like mecha analyzer got to the gym or he went back to school this man studied got his PhD came back as an instructor and he was ready to learn ready to teach people yeah, he just got so much better over time. He even got he even, he even taught himself charge as well. This studied up. <laughs> but I hope this video showed just how good instructor is. And I plan to, to showcase um, some videos in the future. And I've also been trying to optimize my my dust list with this with the revelation because I've been using it on CFA but I haven't put it with the, my new cards yet A because I don't have dust yet and I've just kind of just been playing uh, free hands with it but I see the potential here and I know others have as well so I just wanted to share with everybody at the same time and goodness <laughs> somehow this is long <laughs> but I was gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up uh, yeah Mac instructor is the homie he's really good uh, definitely give it a shot if you're trying to test out dust maybe tech in a couple if you're still um if you haven't you if you haven't shifted over to using dust and you're still um playing hellheart 8 which is still really good uh see if you can put in a couple see if it works out for you and i'd love to hear some results back or some other people's experiences with mecha instructor and yeah that'll do it for me thank you again for 1100 subs i really appreciate all the love and support that i get from everybody and That'll do it for me, and until next time, peace, be easy.